Hello, uh, today I'd like to speak to you about migration. For the past two years, I've been visiting the reception centres for migrants across the European Union and together with teams of the Fundamental Rights Agency, I've been observing very closely the evolving situation. The Fundamental Rights Agency sees some real improvements over those two years. We see improved conditions in many places. We see more respectful treatment of, of women uh, within these facilities. We've seen changes in law and in practice that makes a positive difference for the well-being of the people who live in such facilities. However, it has to be said after those two years that there is still much to be done in the context of honouring human and fundamental rights in responding to the migration situation. Let me point out five areas. In the first place, it's imperative that we in the European Union give uh, protection to those who need it, those who are fleeing from persecution. But for that to happen, we've got to be able to consider their case. We've got to have doors in the walls surrounding our union. Instead of seeing more of these doors, we've seen a closing up of the possibilities in many places uh, over the last two years. Once people get into an EU member state, we see difficulties with the asylum procedures. Again, not everywhere, but in some locations. It takes too long. Uh, elements of due process, like the possibility of an appeal, not working terribly well. Third, once those migrants reach the EU, uh, they need to live in decent conditions. In a moment in winter, for example, where issues of heat and protection from the elements are so important. I'm concerned, fourthly, about the situation of children in particular unaccompanied children. Uh, they have very special protection needs. They're not adequately addressed in enough places. One final concern has to do with detention. We are still, again in some parts of Europe, locking up too many migrants. Detention should only ever be an issue of last resort. Now the Fundamental Rights Agency will continue to work on these issues as we go forward, we all together have responsibility to ensure the human rights of the most vulnerable people in our societies.